984. We had a clear buy signal here for AMC that took uh, all the way up to 993. Oh, just a big old yawn, but now we are making it personal. My name is Andrew. Uh, we have the Waluigi Shrine here. We got a server bar behind me. That pretty much means that we are on vacay, and yet we're still doing some technical analysis for GME as of Monday. That's right, May 3rd, 2021. We are going to cover exactly the data, including the data that we covered this morning, and yet how much of the price action has changed the narrative for the amount of calls expiring in the money. We're also going to be covering a very suspicious amount of deep in the money put on GME, as, uh, starting as early as the 23rd, but as of yesterday, another additional $26 million worth of suspicious puts at $300 strike. And we are going to take a look at cheat code and take and see if this algorithm can give us a better sense of where GME and AMC are gonna be going for the day. If you guys look, wanna look at AMC, it's gonna be somewhere halfway through this video, so make sure to skip on over. Uh, but it's pretty important to be able to cover exactly what topics the GME and AMC intercept uh, because there are a lot of parallel movements. Uh, if you guys do like this technical analysis video, hey, we do a lot more of these in the playlist down below called uh, Andrew uh, Does Some DD. It's also on the main channel page, the very first playlist. So go and check that out for custom uh, bespoke analyses for you guys. So Moon Platoon, let's get started with GME. First thing you'll notice is that we called this downward movement during the live stream. Uh, this is a Tupperware pattern uh, of where we have GME being pushed down below the VWAP almost an entire day until it crossed over the simple moving average. So the volumetric weighted average price, if you guys are just coming in for your first techno analysis, is this green line. It is moved by volume. So so we usually see the price action of a stock represented in how much uh, uh, how much deliberation there needs to be between the bulls, bears, and now newly minted apes who just buy and hold. But people get a democratic say in what the price of the stock is, demand and supply. However, with the volumetric weighted average price, it gives us a sense of the true price, how much volume moves the price of a stock. Uh, we can have low volume and high price volatility and vice versa. Volume comes back and brings the price action back into orbit. And we notice this too. We have the orange line here basically as a, mid a middling uh, indicator of where the price is going to return to. When it dipped below the VWAP here, we were using that as a resistance. And the, level, the line of resistance is just a line where the price of the stock is going to be rejected by. The price of the stock can continue upward in a bullish form until enough people uh, provide downward pressure when it comes to a certain level. As you can see here, the price action of GME could not move above the VWAP, and it's an inconsistent parabola here which means that this is not an actual line of resistance like I've drawn here in teal. So I have one here at 174, one here at 169, one here at 167, etc. How did I draw these? I observed different touch points and I drew them weeks ago. That's right, GameStop's lines of resistance and support are still being supported even weeks after the fact. And now we're looking at this devil's ladle, that the cheater's ladle that we uh, covered in the previous TA analysis. And when we push below the VWAP again, we're, I knew that we were looking pessimistically, this orange, this red line here, at a major downturn, down below this level at 170. Where we are being supported now is 167. So we're currently down 3.5%. Ultimately, not a ton of macro price movement. So that I'm still feeling bullish for GME, but that does change the options chain overall. Well, speaking of the options chain, this is what we're looking at for the day, May 3rd, 2021. If you wanted to get your own uh, version of Options Sonar, we have an affiliate link down in the description below. Mostly calls. The blue is an options call. If you're not sure what that means, it is just a option to be able to buy a stock at a certain price, and it's a, a gamma ramp all the way up to $280. So a lot of people are buying out of the money calls, and as a reminder, GME has not seen 280 in quite a long Long time so any number higher for example if you bought a $800 call is like giving these institutions that sell you these contracts free money so that doesn't help the cause in fact options overall even at the money calls don't seem to help the cause. It might make you a fair amount of money, but it easily can be turned into a put conversion that then makes it that uh, makes downward pressure on the stock price instead of upward pressure. The easiest strategy is always buy and hold. However, we don't give financial advice on this show. You guys make your own. 
the research decisions. What I want to be able to point out here is the amount of downward pressure we can see is not only dependent on the amount of shorts, which we can also see here thanks to the Stonko tracker. We can look at the number of shares available to borrow now has decreased to 5,000. From the early morning reporting that I did two hours ago, we had GME 10,000 shares available to borrow, now half of which is gone. And we have the uh, deep in the money puts that is creating a wall at $300. Basically, any price point of Above, uh, sorry, any price point below $300 is vulnerable to this put wall. You can uh, essentially look at places where a technical indicator would say, oh, GME is supposed to go up here now. And when that happens, an algorithm kicks in and says, okay, execute a certain number of this $300 strike puts. We have $26 million worth of quarters on your gaming console, basically putting it into a, going to like a little game arcade, putting those machines on the pinball and saying, hey, uh, we are going to be sh uh, hurting the stock with downward pressure. If you don't have any shares to, uh, to sell, you can just buy the option of selling it. The institution is going to be the one that takes care of getting those, sh locating those shares and then selling them on your behalf. There is reverse delta hedging that we're used to, right? We're used to gamma squeezes where the ramp moves upward with the amount of calls that get bought. However, you can do the same effect deep in the money puts but with a reverse delta hedging. Okay, we, this is the, not the first time that we saw this for GME. We saw this back on the 23rd, I wanna say. There, how many? 37 million. So that is even more than the 20-ish million that we saw from the last trading day on Friday, but that is adding up to a pretty penny. Is there any on the 22nd here? There is. Today's the last day that we can see. Even with the premium option sonar subscription, we can only see five uh, upwards of a, a week out. And so $5 million of puts at 300 plus uh, 37 million, that's 42 so far, and then with an additional 26. So that is a total of 68 million share, uh, dollars worth of puts at the $300 strike. So we're expecting to see a lot more downward pressure for GME in the coming future. Speaking, and now moving over to AMC, first thing that we'll notice is that we had uh, almost one and a half million uh, shares available to borrow earlier today. Uh, we saw that during the live stream, that what we reported was 1.2 million available so now a third of that has gone missing what does that mean it means that there are now uh, more shorts that have been borrowed more shares that have been borrowed to be able to load up the short attack gun the rail gun that we're going to then hurt the price of amc with we saw that on gme side as well but with only 5,000 shares so we're looking at a uh, an order of magnitude 10 100 times greater here uh, speaking of hurting the stock so that we don't have another battle of 1001 if you guys didn't see the last live stream that was epic fighting for 1001 ending the day above ten dollars and that was uh, that was a beautiful day for amc now underneath ten dollars uh, we had 30,000 calls expiring in the money earlier this morning down here All right that's what I reported two hours ago and now just 17 cents away, we actually ended up losing three quarters of that volume, right? 22,000 more are going to be expiring the money at $10, right? And then another uh, 20,000 more at 11. So there is money on the table for AMC's price action to continue upward throughout the week and ending this week. This is not as a big of a weekend for the options chain for GME, but for AMC in particular, we're looking for the price action to at the very least stay above double digits until Friday. So with that said, AMC, we were, whoa, with that said, AMC, we were staying within two very tight levels of resistance and support here. And from there, uh, pessimistically after a bounce earlier in the morning we are now trying to trend underneath 985 it seems like uh, the hedge funds that were sleeping and uh, that were utilizing AMC at 100% earlier last week but then went to sleep for the end of last week came back from vacation put down their caviar cups and said AMC it's time to tussle we have had a lot of positive indicators for AMC in the past and yet now AMC is taking a tumble because of one the 500 thousand shares that just were borrowed uh, uh, to short the stock normally right not even naked shorting uh, and of course the uh, 
uh, the downward pressure that can come from hurting the perspective on AMC, like maybe some of you have heard uh, influencers and uh, you know reporters on the AMC story continue to hammer down mainstream media, makes it a little bit easy to take AMC story and pivot it, manipulate it, change it. Make sure that the facts are driving themselves. Love the data, live the data. Today's techno analysis was brought to you by Andrew, by me. Right, Meatball's not here until we go back from vacation. I decided to take a couple of minutes out of my day to do a quick three hour live stream for you guys. And now uh, we are starting to wrap up. So one of the first things that I'll say is thank you for tuning in on your busy Monday. Uh, thank you for making time to provide yourself financial education uh, so that you can continue making a better case for you and your family in this rolling casino called the stock market and basically called the financial system that we live in. Had Chico would have been able to predict a price movement today, let's do GME first. Uh, cheat code had a buy signal here on, uh, so we're looking at the minute chart. Uh, buy signal here at the beginning of uh, the third that would have brought us up from $171 until a two, three out of four sell signal, pretty strong sell signal at 175. So that's a $4 raise here. We we'll usually never look at the minute chart, but this is for uh, instructive purposes. Could we have predicted this sell off? Well, this is a three out of four sell signal here that would have dipped GME down from 175 all the way down to 164. Now we are seeing on the minute chart a four, sorry, this is a disjointed four for four, but a three out of four strong buy signal here at 166, and then after that didn't take at 163. So if you are looking for the minute chart, which gives a lot more uh, optimistic and real-time sell and buy signals, this is the time to jump into GameStop right now. And of course, we do these uh, subscriber goals as well. Let's see how close we are to that goal. Uh -huh just 53 subscribers away until 80,200. So we're not quite there yet for this live stream, but that's okay. Now let's take a look at AMC. This is a weirdly paced video, my apologies. Uh, and then at 9.84, we had a clear buy signal here for AMC that took uh, all the way up to 993. These are very small margins because it's on the minute chart. It's usually used for day trading and scalping. Uh, and that has been our last three out of four buy signal. Sorry, four out of four buy signal. The reason why this four out of four buy signal did not take is likely due to the 500,000 missing shares available to borrow that we saw earlier reported today. So data is a, a explainer of all, a narrative driven tool for all of us to use. Uh, I really wanna appreciate the people that make this show possible, Moon Platoon, Grillinger, and Meatball the Space Legend tiers. If you guys don't see yourselves on this list yet, it's because uh, I'm on vacation right now. So I will update this list when I come back. Uh, those of you on the Guerrillionaire and the Space Legend tier have just received access to my six-figure portfolio on SoFi. I am going to then give you guys access to uh, an update to that every week. It doesn't change very much. I haven't really touched it for a couple of months. Uh, but if you guys wanted to be able to see that, that is for the Guerrillionaire and the Space Legend tiers either on Patreon or by clicking that Join button down below. Thank you guys for joining us for all the way until this section. If you guys want to check out Cheat Code for yourself to be able to receive those signals real time, it is in the description down below. Use the affiliate link. Make sure to to get the latest version and go ahead and get two free stocks on Weeble. Uh, using the link down below and $250 of free BlockFi using the link down below. Thank you guys for getting us up to 80,000 subscribers last week. Let's try to get to 81,000 this week for, for nice pace growth and we will see all of you in the money. That's it for this live stream. Thank you guys so much and we'll see you guys later. Peace.